Here we are in Lincoln, Nebraska with Orion Walsh at the state capitol. Tonight's your CD release, correct? Correct, sir. Yes. And what's the uh, title of your album? This one's called First by Water, Then by Fire. What was the inspiration for that track? Well, there's a scripture which is in 2 Peter that speaks about the creation of the world by water and the destruction of the world by water the first time and the second time by fire. Before this CD release, you went on a tour with a band from Sacramento. Tell us a little bit about your tour and the adventures. There's been many adventures. Uh, I was out, of course, the band Musical Cheris, and um, we played all over the coast. Seattle, or not Seattle, that was the place we didn't play. <laughs> California, uh, Arizona, Texas, Louisiana. Mississippi, Florida, and then um, then I joined up with you in Chicago, and then now we're in Lincoln. So we've, we've done about uh, 35 shows all together, and they're going to do 60 shows. So it's election year. In November, we're going to elect a president. Uh, do you have any predictions? Well, what I'd like to see and what I would predict is not the same thing. Obviously, um, if I was you know, go going to, to vote, it would be... You know, for Ron Paul. Um, you know, I don't agree with everything that Ron Paul says, but uh, I do think that the people should be given back a lot of power, and a lot of the power should be back on the state level, and people should be making decisions in their own communities. Um, and the federal government shouldn't be pushing their way into our lives so much uh, with all these regulations. But at the same time, what are my predictions for the future? is that obviously that, you know, unfor un very unfortunately that Mitt Romney uh, will be the Republican candidate and that, uh, you know, him and Obama are gonna go head to head. And I think that, uh, you know, Obama will probably win, but it'll be very, very close. And if I was gonna guess, if I was gonna be caught on film saying that, I would say that Obama will win, but, but barely. So, now I don't support either candidate. Um, with their policy, their war policies, I can't support. Um, I, I oppose the war. I oppose the wars. We're not there. Uh, it's not our place. The Founding Fathers never put in place for us to go policing the world and for us to uh, try to push our form of government on other people. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say that. So we're in front of the Capitol right. and we have the Occupy movement going on. What are your thoughts on uh, that? Yeah, good question. Um, Obviously, I think that, uh, I do agree with some of the Occupy uh, movement. Um, I haven't been part of the protests. Uh, I, I protest through music and through actions. Um, but I do think that uh, some of their grievances are, you know, definitely, you know, they, ha they have a point. I mean, for example, you know, we've given a bunch of money to the banks uh, to bail them out, like Bank of America, people that are very corrupt. Obviously, people in our nation are fed up. They want to see some change. Most of the politicians out there right now are, uh, you know, spreading lies um, so they can make more money. And the, the people are not their main concern. Profits are their main concern. And you'll hear on the new record that I talk about that. And that's, 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 that's the truth, is that... Profits are their main concern and not, not the people themselves. And we are not represented uh, here in our capital here or in our capital, um, you know, our national capital. So I hope that some people can hear the music and or see what's going on, even if they don't hear the music, and they can start making some own decisions for themselves and, uh, you know, seek change the best we can. Tell us about tonight's CD release. Sure. We're going to have Musical Cheris from Sacramento. We're going to have a band called Bulls and Beer Band. Uh, they play polka music, and they're fun. Uh, and uh, it should be a good old time. We're going to also have Eli Marduk, who uh, was in a band called Eagle Seagull. And he's also a very good performer. So it's going to be a fun time. I'm excited about it. And I'm going to play the album uh, all the way through in its entirety. So it should be cool. I'm excited about it. So. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you, man. So I'll go walking on the side of the road with a thumb out stretch said, can we go on, on down the road, and there we go, Woo! on down the road. We took a bed of the floor, we started to fly. 
You know why they cut down all the trees out on the street up there? Um, they're getting ready to begin a revitalization project at the mall. So they're they're going to be re-landscaping, resurfacing the streets. So. That's why they cut down all the trees? Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of these trees were diseased. They fall down so the same thing like on the south side of the capital along Goodhue Boulevard. They're, and they've been cutting a lot of those trees down because they're all diseased. They're all like hollowed out and rotted. So. That's what they say. They are, because they you, fall over. You gotta ask them. Did you ask them? The and tree. The next time they fall over, you can look inside, they're all running out. I looked inside of them. It's okay. <laughs> it's just how things work. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you get monoculture. Things get diseased and they die. Yep. I know when I get old, I want someone to cut me in half, rather than just let me die. <laughs> <laughs>